Hi everyone, it's Karen and Brandon. Thank you so much for coming to our wedding. We are so excited that you're here to spend this special day with us. Yeah, we put together a video, a marriage video, about what marriage means to us, so we hope you enjoy. Enjoy. I don't, what, what is oh, that? Get out of here. Hi, my name is Brandon, and this is um, gonna be my what marriage means to us, and this is my segment, so uh, I'm gonna answer a few questions. And by this time, if things went well, I should be married, so I should be down there uh, at the head table. So you might wanna take a glance just to make sure I'm there. Um, if I'm not, uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna do the questions anyway. So here we go. Okay, Brandon, so what we're going to do here is mm -hmm. basically we're doing an interview, and I'm going to be asking you, you know, what marriage means to you, some questions about your guys' relationship, um, okay. just a fun little segment so people can kind of get to know you guys a little bit better. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, first question is, what did you think when you first saw Karen? Wow, uh, mm -hmm. when I first saw her, she, um, well, she was kind of far away, so I didn't really get a good look at her from where I was standing. Um, it was kind of like uh, across the break room where we were going to school okay. at the time. Well, so, okay. um, not exactly. Okay, so I guess let, let me restate this. So, okay, in the way you're thinking, so what did you think after the second time you saw her? Did you think that you'd be marrying her? No, no, actually, um, I wasn't thinking about marriage at that time. Um, she was dating a friend of mine, um, so. <laughs> I didn't see this coming at all, really, um, and, it's, and it, and it kind of got serious uh, pretty fast. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay, well, it, well na na now that you're going to marry her, uh -huh. what does marriage mean to you? Uh, <laughs> that's a loaded question. Um, marriage means a lot of things to me. Um, you know, it, it, being one with somebody, um, you know, knowing their, their smell. Brandon, huh? read, read the script that I wrote you. Well, I don't want to read the script. But I worked so hard on it. Babe, look. Why can't I tell them what marriage means to me? Well, because I wrote a script and it sounds good. <sighs> Babe, all right. All right. I mean, I... I don't understand I, why you won't read the script. I'll, I'll read the script, honey. I, you don't need to get upset about it. I just thought they would want to know what is coming from my heart. No, no, I mean, it's coming from your heart, but it's coming from both of our hearts. But if you wrote it down... But are we one? I mean, aren't we supposed to be together in this whole thing? I mean, are you going to have, you know, your own opinion about it? Yeah, I've got to, I've got to tell them what, what marriage means to me. I just, I just don't understand because I worked so hard on this. You know I spent countless hours on the computer typing it up and typing know, it up. I know, I just... I'm sorry. I just, I just think maybe I we should. I, I, <laughs> Babe, come. We need, we should, start, we need to start over. I think we. That's a. Babe, come out of the bathroom. It's not that big a deal. I'll read the script. I promise. I know you worked hard on it, honey. Just come on out. Hey, no, we're not going to film this, guys. She gets really, really upset. She turns into like a freaking animal. Babe, come on, seriously, we gotta get this over with. Come on. Ah! Babe, let me get you some wine. Hang on a second, honey. You need this. It'll make you feel better, I promise. Here. We need to get through this, honey. Are you okay? Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> that was scary. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. I am. Okay. I feel, I feel you better. feel better? The I wine? Do. Did the wine help? Yeah. Okay, come here, sweetie. I come here. Better. Oh my gosh. Okay, Brandon, well, let's go back to the last question. Um, now that you're going to marry her, what does marriage mean to you? Well, I've got a few things written down. What marriage means to me by Brandon Rhodes. What does marriage mean to me? I kind of feel like 
Mar marriage means to... This is five pages, Karen. Just, just read it. I man. can't sit here, and this is not even what I... A whole page on shoes? Okay, Brandon, so mo moving on. Okay. Um, the next question that we have here is, what do you love most about Karen? Uh, I love a lot of things about her. What I love most would be she's funny. She's outgoing. She loves to have a good time, be around people. You know, one of the things that, that I like <laughs> actually for me um, is that Karen, her name spelled backwards, is Narak. <laughs> it's Narak, like oh, okay. it sounds. Okay. What? But, but in all seriousness though, what do you love most about Karen? Mm. Oh, okay. Um, I just, uh, whew, there's, a, there's a lot of different things. It's, it's kind of hot in here. I don't know if I, I kind of want to take my sweater off. It gets kind of warm in here under these lights, you yeah. know? I don't yeah. know, I just don't want to do too many outtakes or whatever. But uh, what do I love about Karen? <laughs> Okay. Last, uh, last question got kind of weird. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so let's talk about something a little different then. Uh, okay. My family. Uh, what do okay. you think about her parents? Wow, her parents are uh, are great. Hey Angie. Hey Al. I <laughs> um, hope you're having a good time. But uh, yeah, I think they're wonderful. They've um, treated me like uh, a son from day one. And um, Karen uh, has great qualities that were instilled by her parents. One thing comes to mind um, is that when Karen said she, I think she, she was telling me a story when she was about 16 that her and her father would have these talks and, and she's talking to her dad. It's, it's kind of a cool thing and, and her dad would just uh, encourage her and, and they'd have these long talks and it was good because her dad made this promise to Karen. This is what Karen told me her dad said. Karen, when you get married, I want to buy your husband a car, any car he wants. And that, that's, that's an awesome promise to make to, to someone who's 16, especially when you have no idea who she's going to marry. Uh, so I can't, I really can't wait to see uh, what car it is. I mean, I don't know, honey. It looks, it looks good. I really don't know. I mean, this is really, I don't know if this oh. is really what I meant. I mean, it's Brandon, beautiful. I, it's, a, it's a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's my favorite color. Do you think this will work? I'll, let me go be the sales guy. Uh, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll work out the details. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. This Thank is you. a fabulous car. 134000 Absolutely. <laughs> Sold. All right, here's All right, the thanks. Yeah, that's great. I, I, I look forward to it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, you signed the paperwork earlier, so here's You know what? You can just mail that off to Al. All right. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Al. Hi, everybody. It's Karen, and Brandon and I are married now, and that's awesome. I'm so excited. And um, this is gonna be my segment where I'm talking to you a little bit about what Brandon means to me and the things that I love about him and um, you know, what marriage is all about. So I'm excited. What marriage means to me, gosh, I mean, so many things marriage means to me. I, you know, where do I start? It's amazing. You know, the Lord had told us in the Bible that a man is to leave his mother and father and be joined to his wife. I mean, this is a time where two people are joining lives together, two lives together, you know? And what's amazing is that Jesus can help build your marriage in any way. You know, Jesus can just can be there and you can have a relationship with all three of you together, you know? And I feel like that is probably the most amazing thing. You know, Brandon and I are wanting so much to just be involved and have a, not just a dual relationship, but a relationship with, with me and him and Jesus. And that's just such an awesome thing to know that we can start on this journey together, you know, as a couple. You know, I remember 
when we first got together, we both said that we, we have safe places for both of us to go to and to be there. You know, becoming one with somebody is sharing your all and sharing your hearts and uniting your hearts together. And that's just such an awesome thing that God has truly provided for us and, and we're excited to, to experience it. Well, one of the things that I absolutely love about Brandon is that he um, he always listens to me. I mean, any time that I ever need to talk, he's there. And any time I ever need to talk, he's listening to me and he's helping me through any hard times in my life. It's just, it's so awesome to know that he's a guy that's just going to sit there and listen. Oh my gosh, do you want to know what happened to me the other day? Sure, oh babe. my gosh, I went to the mall and um, I went into Macy's and I saw this black dress and I was like, I either want this black dress or this red dress. I mean, that was the same exact dress only in two different colors. And then I was like, okay, well maybe I'll just go try both of them on. I, should I get one? Should I get both? Should I get the other? I don't know which one to get. So I and go. The black one's probably good, huh? Uh, well, no, no, I mean, you know, not really. I mean, I, I liked the black one, but the black one had this weird zip. So do you want to know what happened actually when I when I went and I wore the black dress to work? I mean, I couldn't believe I went and bought it and everything. I wore the black dress to work. I walk in right into the office and Cindy is wearing the exact same dress. I was just so upset. I'm like, I shouldn't have brought the red one. And then she just started talking about how she looks so much better in it and all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, I don't understand why I get treated like this at work. You understand, don't you, babe? Yeah, honey, I do. I love the black dress. It's not anything that happened. Aww. Another thing that I really love about Brandon so much is that he lets me be affectionate anytime I ever want to be. I mean, anytime I need a hug, he's there. Babe, I'm cooking your favorite meal. It's almost ready. I know you love it. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. I'm just going to like, ow! Ow! Ah! Ah! Anytime I need somebody to be there for me, he's there to give me as much affection as I possibly could ever need. I'm so thankful. It's awesome. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. I'm just shaving. How's your eye? Oh, it's good, honey. It feels a lot better than what it did before. I mean, it's still a little burned, but I think I'm good. I should be just done in a minute. Oh, I'm so glad your eye feels yeah. better. Ow! Gosh! Oh, babe! Well, one of the things that I think is really awesome is that Brandon and I have awesome nights together. We just have so much fun. You know, I'll invite him over and we'll cook dinner and we'll have fun, but we just we just have a great time together all the time. I mean, we're just always we're just always having fun. It's awesome. A lot of girls have made up that they feel a little empty at their It's awesome. I should have bought the red dress. What? Well, everyone, that's our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks for coming out. We hope you enjoy the reception. Oh, in that case. <laughs> Bye. Bye.